Appreciate you, Coach. One of the great venues to watch a game in any sport and one of the best home crowds in any sport, Soldier Field in Chicago. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Detroit Lions and the Chicago Bears. The children will grow, and it's the final weekend of summer, but we've got the NFL, and we're underway on EA Sports. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's able to get it across the 20, but not by much as he's marked down. At the 21 yard line. Let's go now. Ten Lobo. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And they're able to get this one across the 35. First down for the Bears, a gain of 15. On that last run, he's now hit the 6,000-yard mark for rushing yards in his career. And moves him squarely into the top 100 rushers of all time. In fact, he can boast that he's rushed for over 1,000 yards more than Gail Sayers did in his career. And Gail Sayers was a Hall of Famer in a short career. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And finally taken down at the 34. A big run there, 29 yards and a first. One thing that's great about watching him run, Charles, he doesn't hesitate. He got to the left side of his own line and just went. So there's two ways to look at that. One, just absolutely unconcerned, just takes off and goes. But more the latter, I think, no! which is he has absolute play. confidence in the guys in front of him, the guys doing the blocking for him. He just takes it and goes with abandon. A first down carry by Elliott. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown on the season. And they are able to strike first here on their opening drive. Extra point right down the middle. And it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their 25-yard line. A first carry now for Kareem Blunt. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Now a deep ball going to be caught here near midfield. 27 yards there, a first down. A gain of 27 on the play. 
First down, Detroit. Ready, waiting. Three, Mike, Mike. Let's go. Monday, Monday, Monday. On first down, they'll run with Hunt. And now they're going to get him down right at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. They're running it. 45. Mike, 45. Throwing on second down. Stafford. There goes a deep ball. in zone. And a double coverage and it's intercepted. Picked off down at the two. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man-to-man? -man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Casey Hayward makes the tackle. And that run... That changes the whole mentality about the drive right there. They were starting on their own two-yard line. They just wanted enough space to pump the football successfully. Now they're talking about putting together a drive. And he's going to be taken down shy of the 10 right around the nine-yard line. It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. Go, and it looks go. like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Ready, ready. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. Oh, that's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Was hoping to make a play there on the return with his speed. Instead, he makes a play for the other side. Yeah, and how many times have we heard coaches say, you know, sometimes it's not really about those X's and O's we draw up. It's about those Jimmy's and Joe's. And when you have a punt returner, he's one of those Jimmy's and Joe's, one of the best athletes. He's unable to make the play that they were seeking, though. They'll begin the drive with Hunt. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They'll run for the first time with Johnson. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. Plays like we just saw there. That's why they're up right now. And the defense, they're doing their job. Yeah, it starts with the guys up front. So when you talk with GMs who are putting together a team, a lot of them say, we're going to build from the inside out because if you control the line of scrimmage, you control the... And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off at the 39. And they will score a pick six for a Bears touchdown. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. And this defense looking like they have come to play the pick six. And just like that, it's 13-0 early on. Well, go back with me to our training camp visits. What do we hear during these drills? Oh, pass. pass. Ball. Ball's in the air. And then my favorite. Oski. That's the interception. That means everybody finds someone to block. Block them legally. Stay on your feet. And they get it done. Touchdown. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And job one here, Charles, just keep possession of the football. Two drives, two turnovers to this point. You're exactly right, Doctor. Hippocratic oath, first do no harm. And right now, they're harming themselves on offense. I like that. No one is mistaking me for a doctor, though. But thank you, Dr. Davis. 11 yards there and a Lion first down. And the Lions first down. So from the 36 now, first and 10. 
the pass. And it has Out of the gun, Stafford. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. But there is a certainty in this game. We know that wherever he goes, he's going to draw a big-time crowd. Throws in a double coverage there. And look, that's something that he's going to have to deal with a lot in this game, I'm sure. Yeah, they were lucky to get away with that one where it just fell incomplete. But they're going to count on him to uncover Leighton routes and make some difficult catches. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Stafford going to give this one off to Johnson. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. The Bears bring out an extra defender in the secondary now for third down. From the gun, here's Stafford. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. Picked off by Jamal Agnew. And they will finally stop him as he's down to the 40-yard line. So that is three interceptions now in this first half. And you hate to ask the question, but it, let's be honest. We're thinking about it. Do you need to go in a different direction next series? Potentially. We know that he's probably not going to be on the Pro Bowl ballot. That's not really his stature here. But he has been their starting quarterback for this game. So they've got to weigh things about who's behind him. Do they think he can snap it back into gear? Maybe change up the play calling to help him out a little bit. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. From the shotgun again to Elliott. Three yards on the pickup there, but they've only got it back to third and 10. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big time play? Back to throw here. And he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. 14-0 the score. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Down. 60 out law. That kid is trash. Let's go. A run with Portis. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one, he looked like one of those guys. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll take this down for about four yards down to the 15. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Come on, a dime look defensively for the Lions on third. Let's go, Let's go. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave him with a fourth down. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And the lead will grow. It's now 17-0. So unable to convert for the touchdown inside the red zone, but they do come away with three. Yeah, it's a 32-yarder. That's essentially an extra point nowadays, right? Because it's 33 as a general rule for these guys. So it should be a simple kick. 
But you know what's really strange nowadays? When they miss an extra point, I think they carry that with them longer than missing a field goal because an extra point's supposed to be automatic. Absolutely, and I would think even field goals inside of 30 yards, even though they're substantially shorter than a PAT, it, would, it just has a different feel, doesn't it? A different it? feel, a different vibe. That's what I get from all the kickers I've talked to. They always say if I miss an extra point, that's the one that bothers me more. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Doubling this guy has to be a priority before moving up to the next level because the big fella, he just ate that one alive, just stuffed it. In fact, before the game, he was talking to us, and he's like, hey, these pants make me look fat. And we said, nah, man, you're just a whole lot of guy. He is at well over 300 pounds. He's a big man. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. Some of these play calls, I think they're a little conservative, but you know me because it's easy to sit up in this booth, right, and make all the calls and, and think I'm going to be correct. But I would like to see them open things up because otherwise this defense is going to gang up on the run and set them down. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Obviously, this has not been a banner game throwing the football. So what you got to do, you got to kind of down focus, don't you think? Find the tight end. Take some easier completions. The interception last drive. There he hits the reliable target. They'll run on first down. It's Hunt. Now, oh boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. No gain on that run, and while this team is down, they're not out of it by any stretch of the imagination. Maybe you just have to think about different style of running in order to get this guy going. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. A shotgun snap for Stafford. That'll be taken in there by Kenny Galladay. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made here at the Bears 40. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. From the gun, Stafford. This complete to Jones. That throw good for four. It's second down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. Throwing is Stafford. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off at the 20. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. We haven't even escaped the first half, and he's already thrown four picks. And Brandon, back in the good old days, probably back before you were born, if your starter threw four in the first half, he might throw eight or more for the game because they weren't going to pull him out. But nowadays, the patience level isn't quite there. He's going to have to make some real adjustments, or the backup may see some time. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. The rush defense stout on first down. Here's second and 10 from the 20. 61, match box lights. Judge! 10th carry now for Elliott. And now nothing but green ahead of him. The 30. A big run that time by Elliott. 54 yards on the ground. Terrific run from one of the fastest backs in the game today. A guy who keeps defensive coordinators up at night, no doubt. Remember when we were meeting with the D coordinator before the game and all he talked about was run fits, making sure our guys were in the right place so there were no creases? They missed their fits, didn't they? Yeah, there was no fit there. The only fit was at the end when he threw his headset down after that big run. So that changes things in a big way. Now from all the way down inside the 30, here's first and 10. Boy, nowhere to go at all on that first down run as they will get to him behind the line of scrimmage. The defense showing some anger after giving up the big play. This time they'll lose one or two. They don't need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. Let's see if they do it anyway. On second down, Elliott. 
Oh, and now he pulls him over. He showed off a nice juke of the defender before the next wave could bring him down. It's a gain of eight, and it's going to take us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder, coming up at halftime, we'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in his second week of the regular season. Running right, Portis. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A great effort there. His third touchdown now on the year. As the Bears push further out in front. Heck of a start to his season. He had two touchdowns in the opener last week. Another one here in week two. Well, I don't want to call him a touchdown machine this early, but sometimes you get locked in, you know, and you feel good about things. You get into that zone, and those touchdowns come in bunches. He may be off to that kind of a start. It's like he was shot out of a cannon. I would imagine success this early, great momentum going forward for the rest of the year. He keeps this up. They'll soon be chanting MVP anytime he touches the ball. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. He was trying to find Marvin Jones that time. Third down here. I hate to sound really negative, but at this point, an incomplete pass, almost a moral victory that it's not picked off. Well, you may hate to sound negative, but that was negative. It was very negative, I know, but all these first-half interceptions, it's been tough to watch. Yeah, couldn't find a silver lining in this one. Much more like love. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. They came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. Returning, it's Benjamin. A big boot that time. 57 yards, the official distance. And the Bears take over. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. Still more than a minute to go, so you know, there is time if they want to mount something here. Not only time, but they have three timeouts at their disposal as well, so that changes everything that you're doing here. Without those timeouts, you can only work the sidelines, hoping to get out of bounds. Here, the middle of the field is still available because you can call timeout and regroup. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Pilot, 64, weak. Here we go, D. It's just me and you. It's just me and you. Here we go on second and 12. And that's Elliott, complete. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Now the Bears going to call the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. For the Lions, an extra DB in the game now here on third down. Hey, hey, Wood! They'll look to throw. Going up top for Miller. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. 
A big play there just before halftime. 47 yards. Well, that certainly changes things. Yeah, I think the thought process is they take this lead into the locker room, run something simple here and run the clock out. Instead, they get the big play. Now they have a chance to increase what they've done in the first half. No running room for Zeke on first down as he'll maybe get a yard out of that. Now the Bears going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 27 seconds remaining here in the second quarter. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Second and nine now. Buying time to his left. He'll run it. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. And with just one second remaining in the first half, they'll call the timeout. So with one second left in the half, on is the field goal unit. This just a 24-yard attempt. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And that will do it for this first half. So we've come to halftime after a very one-sided beginning to this one. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right. Oh, a hit. He lost the football. Stafford puts it on the ground. And this is picked up by the Bears. And fantastic field position has them just outside the 10 at the 11-yard line in the red zone. And they came out of the locker trailing. Not a good way to start this second half with their first drive. Can't imagine that the discussion at halftime encompassed this at all. In fact, I'm sure they talked about, okay, kind of wipe the slate clean, start the second half, and let's go out. And he takes this one in for a Bears touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott. His second touchdown of the game, his third on the year. And the Bears use the short field to their advantage as they cash in for six. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead will swell by one more. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. The Lions take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, punt the ball away, get yourself set to play defense. But when you turn it over, it changes momentum. And when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You'd better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long hey, day for you. They stay on the ground again. It's Hunt. And oh, he coughed it up. And this is picked up by the Bears. 
And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. Whenever I see a team turn it over on back-to-back -back drives, fumbles on their last two, I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise, and that's the head coach. Absolutely. And when's it going to go down? When they stop fumbling? <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film, and only if they manage to win the game. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. This is Elliott. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. They go to Elliott again. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out, but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Hey, 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 hey! I got you. Where's that? They go back to Elliott. He's been busy. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. A three-yard loss on the play. It's fourth down. The kick by Pinheiro is good. And they're well on their way now as the lead grows even larger. So three field goals that he's hit now. This last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Good word. I like it, man. Because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. What I like is that you gave me the word, and I just kept using it. <laughs> Back to the air, Stafford on second down. Throwing deep for Galladay, and this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team that's playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. He's at it again, Charles. He had the pick six last week. Not a pick six here, but an interception. It's another Oski, because that's the word we use when we intercept the pass. Oski tells your team to rally around and block for you. Well, that worked really well last week because he had made it all the way to the end zone. This week, he got the Oski. Maybe not a touchdown, but boy, he's playing really well. On first down, it's Elliott. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Chicago! Ezekiel Elliott, 39 yards. And the Bears turn that interception into a touchdown. Point after, right down the middle. And that will extend this big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Set, 
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they? Weaving through traffic, and now he's free. He's at the 30, 10. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. Kareem Hunt. His second touchdown on the season. And the Lions gain a bit of respectability. Good start to the season for him. He had the touchdown last week in the opener and a second one in week two now. How about the pace he's already established, right? Not sure he can keep it up for an entire season, but don't burst the bubble because he thinks that he can. Do guys go into a season with a goal for touchdown scored or yardage? What do you think? I think every single one of the guys who's going to touch the football, they all have those types of goals. They all have those types of thoughts. And then they just have to see how the season unfolds if they can stay with it. Unfolding so far so good for him. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. The last time out, another touchdown. And I think there may be some empty seats around here by the time the fourth quarter comes around. Yeah, I have to agree with you because this was just about decided. But you know who benefits from all those empty seats? You and me, trying to get to the airport. That's the roads would be fairly clear that is by the time positive. we have to leave the booth. At the 28-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll run with Elliott. He finds an opening past the 40. And he's finally down at the 21-yard line. And he will finally be wrestled down at the Lions' 21-yard line. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. They keep on the ground with Elliott. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. This offense has had a lot to like in this game. I don't know that that last play, though, is going to make the highlight reel. It's not going to make the highlight reel, but it will be the focus of the film session that the team has to sit through. I've sat through those before. Never any fun. You're always excited about your good plays, and they actually fast forward through those. All right, that was good. All right, great. They get to the bad ones and really illuminate them. Not cool. It's a pickup of 17 and a first down. That crossing route is so effective when you hit it just right because you get a guy on the move, and then we see the end result there. It's a nightmare for the defense. They got a guy with a full head of steam. Not only does he catch it, but he picks up additional yardage after it. Set up. Eight, three. Bristol travel. Set, set, get it. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And this is going to result in losing yardage. They're driven back to the eight-yard line. Now that sends them two yards in the wrong direction and leads to second down. It's second and goal back to the eight-yard line now. I'm going to run you over. Now a carry for Portis. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. A great play there with his second touchdown of the game, fourth of the year, as his guys continue to pour it on. And he certainly played a pivotal role with those two TDs and why they're up on the scoreboard right now. Well, someone's all about winning, aren't they? Because he's not worried about the number. Sure, it's great to have two touchdowns. But the bottom line is what he's doing is contributing to their lead. He wants to continue to do so. Now after the touchdown, here's Pinheiro to kick it off. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Protect. 
The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And coming off a one-play drive that was so deflating for the defense, what, what's their mentality? How do they rally here and stop this offense? Well, hopefully there's some determination that sets in because I, they weren't ready to go on the last one. Give all the credit to the offensive guys for getting it done, but to allow a run of that length, that's just not being prepared. So now, are they determined? Are they ready to read their keys and make the proper plays? And we'll see how determined they are. Ready. One play ready. has him up past the 40 Check. already and another first and 10. Come on, baby. Come on, let's go. <laughs> they stay on the ground. This time it's Johnson. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. It's a gain of 14 and a first down for Detroit. Pardon, if you want more carries, I think we saw how you get them. Showed that he's got the fresh legs, and he picked up the first down on that run. Don't just ask for them. Show them that you're supposed to get the football. Back-to-back -back good, good plays game. have them on the move on first down. Operating from the gun. Stafford. Open man. He's got him. The tight end, Hawkinson. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Detroit. T.J. Hawkinson, his first touchdown of the new season. And it's for pride now, but the Lions do get a bit closer. Extra point good by Prater. So they do get one score back, but still a long way to go here in the third quarter. Morstead out now following the touchdown to kick. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23 yard line. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, you feel like you can take the spirit away from another team, that their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. Still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. Here's Portis. And he's out of bounds, but not before a big pickup that time on what's going to wind up being the final play of the third quarter. Back now at Soldier Field. And this is a blowout so far as we get set for the fourth quarter. A very one-sided affair. Ready, break. Six man. Check curls, check curls, check curls. They'll go right back to the ground with Portis. And he's going to get it across the midfield stripe into Lion territory. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. Brings up second and two at the 48-yard line. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. a measure of revenge there he's had his way in this one but this time they get him behind the line that'll be a loss of a yard and it leads to a third down
The Bears on third down. They've hit four of seven. This time they face a third and two. Yo, 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 go, go. Check it out, Reed. Recon, 132 fighter. Ready, ready. Now back to throw. And Robinson with a big catch. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Give him 30 yards there. Boy, another big play late here for an offense, Charles. It certainly has had its fair share of big plays. Coverage has been a problem all game long. And I would say that going along with that has been confidence. Because even if they had the right coverage, they've still dented them. And now it's been a real issue for them during this game. And that had far too much Good air one. under it. It's out of the back of the end zone. And the football will come out to the 20-yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got to the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you score points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. They run again with Hunt. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. The run defense, they have been porous at times today, but not that last go around. No, they really tightened it up, didn't they? They finally got themselves a win because all game long we've seen them get gashed. This time they played the responsibilities, played their keys, and made a nice stop. And he'll be corralled well upfield right around the 40-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. Stafford now, five straight completions here in this second half, first and ten. Here's Stafford, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 15 yards for the Lions there on a first down. So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 46. The first down carry here for Johnson. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. When we see those runs to the perimeter, when we see those runs to the edge, we think about big breakers, don't we? In this case, it was a modest game, but it does open up possibilities here on second down. They'll run with Hunt on second down. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. And it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? The throw over the middle taken in, and they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. He'll get a dozen there, and the Lions have a first down. I think it all came together there in breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off down near the five. And the return just out across the 15 to the 16-yard line. Gosh, you add up last week and this week now. That's nine interceptions in this two-game stretch, and we're not done here. It's almost as if they can't even believe their eyes. Or maybe, partner, is the confidence level in him so high that they believe he'll get out of it and make plays for them to win a game? Well, they've said they believe in him. That's being tested right here. He had his sights on the end zone, no doubt, but is brought down after a huge return there. And the Lions will have excellent field position here as they take over first and ten. Hey, lady, Zebra! Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Bilal Nichols. He's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. Throwing on second and long. Stafford. They'll go screen here to Hunt. He'll be dropped at the 25 after a gain of six. 
Third and long, it's Stanford. And now here's another interception. Picked off by Kyle Fuller. And a good return here as he takes it up past the 30-yard line. The number seven, usually lucky here, not for him. Seven picks he's thrown in this game. That's only happened six times since 1960. And I know that the most recent time it happened, the guy who threw him, he had won a Heisman Trophy in college, so sometimes you just have a lousy game. Doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad career, but when you're talking about one game, seven, you're right, not lucky at all. Yeah, Ty Detmer, the last to do it in 2001 to throw seven picks. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest, don't forget today. <laughs> Don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, he's had his ammo exactly. going Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because... You're not going to want that feeling. No, yet. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. It's an incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Now Stafford... Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And oh, they almost had another one. They are all over the football in this game. Nearly another pick. Now fourth down. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. They'll score that a 36-yard punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, just don't really do that in the NFL. We, we, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they will take them out, but for the most part, they're not as worried and concerned about getting them out of the game, and that's always puzzled me a little bit. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Bears get the win at home as we say so long from Soldier Field.